Hello friends, welcome to everyone. Today we will try to make the 3D modeling by using AutoCAD software. First we will draw 2D drawing and then we will try to make 3D modeling. So let's start. First of all we will choose a new file and from there we will choose a new template ACAD ISO and then open the new file. To off the background grid, we will press the function key F7. Here, always we will obey the basic matter is that we will draw on the XY plane and extrude according to the Z axis. So, for as a little example, I am drawing a rectangle on the XY plane. That means I draw the length and width according to the X axis and Y axis. Then by using press full command, I will extrude this rectangle according to the Z axis. From this right bottom corner of the window, we will choose the current workspace WS current as 3D modeling. It will be more helpful. Now we will change our drawing space from 2D orthographic view to isometric view. By click on view from menu bar, then choose 3D views and then choose SW isometric that means south west isometric. You may choose this isometric view from the top unsaved view. Now I will type a command UCS icon and from there we will choose the sub command no origin ok now we will try to make this type of 3d model so first of all we will draw the top view on the xy plane using the line command if the line is not drawn along the x axis and y axis then press the function key f8 for ortho mode on draw the circle by typing the circle command on the center of this rectangle take offset for the thickness of the cylinder now for extrude this top view, we will choose the pressful command or we may type it to write on the command bar. Select the boundary area and then type the extrude height according to the Z axis. Mind it, you have to click on the middle of the boundary area and there will be no gap between two boundary lines. We will choose the middle of the cross section for the cylindrical part. We see that here uh, this is the wireframe model and uh, to change its look to 3D solid we have to go to the view tabs and choose the view shaded with edges. You can also get it by typing the command visual styles and from there choose the shaded, conceptual, realistic etc. Now I will again go to the wireframe model. Now here we see that if I want to make this half circular solid part, we have to draw the cross section on this left side of the main solid model. So we type the command UCS and specify the point on X axis and Y axis.
now with the help of uh, line and circle command we will draw this uh, circular cross section area Then I will trim the unnecessary part. And I will again extrude this cross section by using the press pull command again. To make the others opposite part, I will use copy command and then paste it at the exact point. To change from wireframe model, I will again choose shaded with edges view from the view tab. Here we will use the union command to join or pair the different solid part. In this way by pressing left key of the mouse on the view cube we can see well and closely our 3D model or we may type the command 3D orbit. Now I will go from model tab to layout by click on layout 1. First of all I will delete this view by choosing erase command. To get our model on this layout choose view base and then base view from model space or you may type the command view base and from there choose the sub command model space then specify the location of the base view you just click on the layout then choose the sub command hidden lines and from there choose uh, visible and hidden lines now you click on exit and then click on the layout to locate the side view, top view and isometric view and finally you press the enter. If you want to change the view orientation, you first select the view and then right click and then choose the edit view. Then choose the subcommon hidden lines and from there choose the subcommand shaded with visible lines. You may choose exit or if you enlarge this 3D view, go to the scale and then type the value of the scale factor and then choose again exit. To shade view on the proper location, first select and then click on the base point and then move it to the desired point. Finally, you give the dimensions to the different views.
finally follow the process to plotting our work you may type uh, plot command Thanks to everyone for watching this video.